My understanding, my grandmother, I don't know if she did a plea thing or she, I don't believe she was ever arrested and she, she died shortly, maybe a couple years after that. Ultimately, my grandma's boyfriend was arrested. Um, at that time, though, he had diabetes were bad. He had to go for surgery, lost both his legs. Um, he got arrested. But back then, the Morgan Street Jail didn't, couldn't accommodate wheelchairs. He was released, pending, you know, a hearing and stuff. But shortly after he was released, he had a major heart attack, and he died. My daughter's relationship with my mother? None. Zero. I didn't want my mom near my daughter. She didn't deserve to. She didn't earn that. I was too scared to leave her like, you know, even alone with my mom because I was afraid something would happen to my daughter. I was taking that chance. I've cut all ties with my mom. There was never an apology. There was never any acknowledgement that anything even happened. I remember my brother died about seven years ago in Florida State Prison. Um, my sister called. Uh, my oldest brother called. Do you have mom's phone number? I had it for the longest time. and I've sent her letters. I've sent her stamps. No, no, no birthday calls, no Christmas, no nothing. Um, and then my oldest brother said he found her. He calls me, I've got mom, we're coming down for the funeral. And next thing this, this voice comes on the phone, it was a girl. I'm so proud of you, I hear you're a police officer. I'm so proud of my daughter. I froze. I said, put my brother back on the phone now. I didn't talk to my brother for about six months. I thought he had something to do with it. I'm sorry, sis, she grabbed the phone. She wanted to talk to you. I never saw her. Never ended up, ended up never having the funeral. My boyfriend at the time, who's my husband now, talked me into meeting my mom for lunch with my family. And one hour, two hours, three hours go by, nothing. My sister called and said, my mom, mom wanted me to give you a message. You need to get over what happened to you and go into life before she talks to you again. I never saw her. So now all these abandonment issues came across and I'm done. I, I've tried, I'm done. She was actually in the car with me for my grandma's funeral. We actually spread my, at, my grandma's ashes around her late husband's grave. I mean, nothing. I said, okay, I'm done. If it wasn't for my husband, I would have never even agreed to meet with her, and she refused to come see me. I'm okay. I'm stronger because of it. It's okay. Because it made me, to be, made me be a better mom, wanting to be, choosing to be a better mom.